In this video, we're going to find the equation of a line that's parallel to a given line through a given point. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this problem. So let's dive in. We're given this line right here, 5x minus 3y is equal to 15. And we want to find the line that's parallel to this line, but it goes through this given point, negative 6, 1. Now remember, when lines are parallel, what do you know about their slopes? They're the same because they're going up at the same rate. They'll never cross. And the thing here is we need to rearrange this equation into our slope intercept form so that we can identify the slope, which is this m value. So in order to do that, we need to get this y by itself. So let's go ahead and subtract 5x from both sides. So that gives us negative 3y is equal to negative 5x plus 15. And to get this y by itself, instead of multiplying by negative 3, Let's divide all the terms on both sides of the equation by negative 3 to keep it balanced. So that comes out to y equals 5 thirds x minus 5. Now you can see that the slope, our m value here is the slope, is 5 thirds. So in our equation, we're going to want to use that same slope of 5 thirds, but we want to make sure that it goes to this point negative 6, 1. Now, there's two different ways to do this problem. You can use the slope intercept form or the point slope form. So first let me show you the point slope form. X1 and Y1 represent the point that the line is going through. So that's going to be X1 and Y1. So let's go ahead and write that. We've got Y minus the Y coordinate of our point, which is 1, equals our slope, 5 thirds, times X minus the X coordinate of our point, which is negative 6. Of course, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. So you can write this as X plus 6. Now you can leave it like this if your teacher is okay with the point slope form, or you can distribute this 5 thirds, and we're going to rewrite it in the slope intercept form by solving for y, by getting y by itself. So this comes out to 5 thirds times x plus 5 times 6 is 30, 3 times 1 is 3, 30 divided by 3 is 10, and then if we add 1 to both sides, to get y by itself, we get y equals 5 thirds x plus 11, and now it's in the slope intercept form. Now, some students, and you might like this better, is just to start with the slope intercept form. You could say, well, here's my slope intercept form. I know I want my slope to be the same, 5 thirds, but I have to find my new y intercept, my new b value. So let me go ahead and put negative 6 in for x and 1 in for y. And we can then solve for this b value. Now remember, any whole number, negative 6, that can be written as a fraction by putting it over 1. And so now it's a little bit easier to just multiply the numerators together. That's negative 30. The denominators together, that's 3. Negative 30 divided by 3 is negative 10. And then if we add 10 to both sides to get b by itself, 11 is equal to b. Now we just have to take that 11, put it back in for b right here, and we're going to get the same equation we got when we rewrote our point slope form, y equals 5 thirds x plus 11, and you got it. So great job. If you want to see another video I did talking about finding the equation of a line that's perpendicular to a given line through a given point, follow me over to that video I did right there. I'll see you over in that video.